Hey everyone. So here we are, third day into January, into the new year. And um, I thought I'd make a little video, just share a couple uh, pertinent, very, very powerful, and potentially transformational uh, questions with you that you can take into your new year. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can, uh, I encourage you to you know, take 20 minutes, an hour, whatever it is, and maybe write your, write your answers down. Journal about these questions. Um, I find them a, a very, like I say, a very powerful place to begin the transformational process to make, potentially make 2024 the best year you've ever had. So, a bit of a longer video again. Um, I'm just going to go through them, make sure you write them down. And like I say, take your time and really contemplate them. Don't just answer, answer them intellectually, but answer them from, you know, from a heart level, from a gut level, and see what you find. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just went for a walk, so a little bit of the cold air still playing at my nose and throat here. Um, so the very, very first question, and there's three parts to it. For this year, for 2024, if you could kind of have your ideal year, without getting into the realm of magical thinking, things like that. So if you get into your, if you could have your ideal year, what would you want for yourself? What do you want? That's part one. If you could have that outcome, whatever it is you say you want, what would that do for you? So what do you want? What would it do for you? And the third part to that question, if you achieve that outcome, how would you feel? That's question one. What do you want? What would having it do for you? And how would you feel if you have it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Question two. You know, some, some things are more tangible and this is easier to answer. Some things less. But uh, whatever that outcome is that you want, when would you want it by? Get specific. When do you want it by? Is there a particular month, week, day? When do you want to achieve this by? So that's question two. Question three. Whatever your outcome is, where do you want it? And with whom? Where do you want to have that outcome and with whom? Now there might be several places, of course. There might only be one, there might be a new location, but where do you want it and with whom? Who do you want to share it with? <clears throat> That's question three. Question four. If you could have the outcome that you say you want, how would it affect other areas of your life? So let's say you listed the, you know, a financial a career goal. How would that affect your relationships? How would that affect your spirituality? How would that affect your health, your well-being, your, your, your fitness, you know, whatever it is, your friendships. So the outcome that you want, how would having it affect other areas of your life? Again, I really encourage you to take your time, answer it as in depth as you can. The next question that comes to mind, and probably one of the most important questions to whether you'll even achieve what you say you want or not, what stops you from having that outcome already? Now you might answer knowledge, so perhaps there's some things you have to learn. You, uh, you might answer, well, I, you know, I don't have enough time, you know, lack of balance. I, uh, um, it could be anything. It could be anxiety. It could dep be depression. It could be stress. It could be overwhelm. It could be so many things. So what stops you from having that outcome already? This question actually points to your real work. Not just setting goals and action steps, but what stops you from taking action? Is it procrastination? Is it indecision? If you can answer this question, 
and then face that answer and, and heal and integrate the, the source for whatever that pattern is, then you stand a much, much greater chance of having what you want. And finally, um, actually, I'll leave it there for now. So what stops you from having it? Actually, I'll add one more question for you. Once you uncover that, and there's usually many of those things that would stop us, if we're really honest with ourselves, um, you can ask, what paths of action are available to you to move, move you not only towards what you want, that outcome you, you listed, but to help you overcome these blockages, if you will. So what paths of action are currently available to you? What are you going to do about it? So with that, you guys, I wish you a happy new year. And I'd love to uh, you know, hear what you, some of your answers are. And if you'd like support in any area of that, I'd be happy to help as well. Have a wonderful day.